All right, hey guys, I uh, wanted to kind of do an update on my uh, Fuji camera slash Weevil Lab, Zhaiyun Weevil Lab uh, combo video. It's been a while since I've done an update and um, I have not actually been flying this uh, gimbal for a while because I've been using my camera handheld. Now, I'm going to show you just a few limitations on the previous uh, version of what I was doing and then we'll go through uh, what I think is a new iteration for me. Uh, first off, I am now using the Rode NTG mic, or NTG something, it's kind of the replacement for the Wireless Go, or Wireless Mic Pro. Uh, love this mic, USB-C, it works for just a lot of different options, and it has a gain setting in the back, really, really cool mic. Now, in my old rig, what I did was I had uh, my Weevil Lab, camera mount on top and I use a side handle just to give me an extra grip and um, the reason I use the side handle because I needed the um, cold shoe so I can get the mic on so there's the rig you have a microphone that's in the space here side handle um, one of the downsides of this is if I ever did go to underslung mode and I held it kind of like this what happens is this mic points down and I'm getting audio of the ground and not of the subject itself. So the limitation is in this mode, I can only film straight ahead, but I can't do the underslung low uh, mode. And so um, I want to abandon this handle. And um, before I do that, I just want to also call out, I did get the uh, small rig wooden handle that does fit in here for the underslung mode, or you can just uh, simply remove and with the, um, the tripod attachment here, back and forth. There's a couple options. This is a more, air quote, permanent mount. Um, but I'm gonna put this aside for now and let's see how simple we can get this new build. All right, okay, here we go. Um, this is my permanent Fuji camera over here, so I don't have my second camera to do a two film setup, but we will just work with that, all right? I hope you guys are patient with me on that. Uh, so let's unbuild this uh, rig. Let's put the mic aside for now. And I'm going to get rid of this handle. So right now the handle is mounted to this quarter twenty thread at the bottom. The handle has one of these uh, flathead screws. So, and I got a um, small rig also makes one of these multi-tool adapters which have been just a blessing, I think. So I'm going to take that. And let's remove this component down here. There we go. And of course, we're in COVID, so there's a phone call happening downstairs. So there's a little bit of background noise, but we will just hang out and chill out. OK, so this can go away. Um, I'm going to put this aside. I think I might not carry this around because it's just, I want to go to a minimal um, modes. I'm going to get rid of this. So let's put the rig up. So now I'm screwing the, uh, the included tripod as part of this setup. So now I got the gimbal just as is. And so let's do a little bit of a build. Um, on the camera side, and let's play around with this. I'm gonna have to rebalance this so you can get to watch me rebalance. So here's my Fuji X-T3. I don't have the four because um, COVID and got no money, but that's okay. This is the small rig uh, mounting plate. I picked this one because one, it allows you to put on counterweights, which I don't need at the time because I'm using the Fuji 16 millimeter lens and it's fairly light. But one benefit is it has, um, or this cheese grate over here with a bunch of quarter 20s. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, let's see, I'll put it up here so you can see it. This is the Ulanzi PT-3. It's just basically, it's a cold shoe uh, mount. It's on this side and has a quarter 20 thread that goes over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put under mount my camera or my microphone on the bottom. Give me a second, I'm gonna, and I found just the right quarter 20 slot. What you, you wanna make sure you find the optimal balance for your setup. And I'll show you what this looks like. 
right? So there's the camera. Um, and then cold shoe mount is now on the side at the bottom versus at the top, right? So traditionally, I have mounted mic on top. Now mic will be on the side. And we'll talk about why I'm doing that after I get the mic mounted. So a few things you always want to do is just continue to tighten things down, ratchet it down to get it tight, but not break it. I have broken quarter 20 threads before. Not fun. Okay. So one thing to know is the Rode NTG uh, mic, the cold shoe, a little slippery at times. I might, I don't know, put some sort of sealant or something there to keep it from popping out, but I'm going to just ratchet that down. I'm going to plug it into my mic adapt plug my camera and I'm gonna have to do a little bit of uh, wire cable management to, to get this lined up so here's the setup now I'm gonna move it around so you can see the back and so camera is gonna sit flush mic is on the side and I made sure that the microphone doesn't interfere this is a fairly um, wide-angle lens and so I just want to make sure the mic doesn't show in frame um, and the reason for putting this on the side here is when I get this mounted on my gimbal. So now the, the mic is in plane with the camera. So as the camera moves around on the gimbal, the microphone will always continue to point forward um, in the right direction where the camera's going. Um, so huge change from side handle where the, the mic was always pointing forward now the mic will point in the direction of where I'm filming. And so what this has now done is I have completely thrown off the balance because I put a weight on the side and everything's going to be out of balance. So let's uh, rebalance the gimbal. It's not always one of my favorite things and I don't always remember the exact procedure, but um, hang, hang tight for a sec. You can watch me fumble through this and maybe it will give you some ideas on how to mount the camera. So first thing I think what I like doing is getting this to sit forward. And if you're a gimbal professional, feel free to leave a comment. It seems like it wants to be, it, my camera is now very back heavy because of the mic. That sucks. Let's see, I might want to move the mic forward a little bit. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, that took a little bit more time. I think what I ended up having to settle on is I cannot get it to balance this way because it's now overweight on this side. Um, I could I think get a counterbalance weight that small rig does sell, but um, I'm just gonna run the gimbal a little hard because uh, it can handle it, right? So here's the now updated setup. Um, the microphone is now on the left and watch as I move. Let's see, I'm gonna point the camera down a little bit. And so now the camera's pointing down and it's the mic's down. If I'm on, ooh, it's getting a little heavy. Let's switch to underslung mode and see if the camera or the motors can handle um, underslung mode. So I'm putting this right here. Whoa! Looks like I'm killing the motors. Axis lock. What's going on? Mm. Forgot to unlock one of the axis. And so the Gimbal does not like that. It keeps from burning out the motor, and that's okay. All right. So, holding the camera in underslung mode, and now filming like this. Look at that. The mic is uh, pointing in the right direction. I have clearance, and I can pretty much film this entire way. Now, I think this mode is, unless I get, until I get a counterbalance, it's going to put a little bit of uh, strain on the motor, but I'm going to just accept that as part of the uh, setup. 
Hey, let me know what you think. This might be my setup for a while while I switch back into doing more filmmaking and I'm excited um, just during the pandemic to be doing more creative projects. Uh, this is gonna be the setup for a little bit. And as I end this video, let me show you just one more thing. I'm gonna turn this off and expect this to kind of tip over a little bit. And it just, there we go, it tips over. So um, I'm okay, I just gotta make sure either I, I gotta, you can lock it. Let me, kind of awkward this is, cause I'm not, uh, I don't use gimbals enough. To, okay, and the cool thing with the, we will lab or we will S or the latest one is has a lock. Okay, so all the locks are on. So the whole setup is somewhat fixed and I can carry this around, get to my next location and turn everything on. That's the new setup. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate everyone joining. Hit subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if this helps you or not and what topics you're interested in. I'll see you in the next one.